Hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about doubt and worth. So maybe when you're acting, you're often um, a lot, a little bit um, feeling doubt. Doubt about how you look, doubt about how you sound, doubt about your auditions, the ones you get. You may be feeling doubt about when you're taping your audition, when you're walking to your audition. You might be feeling doubt about which audition to, which take to send to the casting director. You may be looking at that for hours and feeling so much doubt and a lack of clarity to decide. You may be feeling doubt in general about your value. You may be feeling doubt about your career. Should I be pursuing this? Should I not be pursuing this? Like, am I good enough? Am I worthy, basically, of this audition, of this career, of this role, of this success? And um, I think maybe doubt from my um, perspective, working with so many actors for such a long time, is probably the the most common pain that I see actors suffer from. And it's not necessarily beginner actors at all. When I work with actors that are working all the time, that have hundreds of credits, that are every day on TV or making movies, they also suffer doubt. I would even say that they suffer even much bigger doubt than beginners or people who haven't worked that much or in the middle because if you've worked a lot everyone's watching you you're mostly seen and looked at and therefore whatever doubt creeps in is more scary because everyone's looking at you so doubt is not only um, something that you would feel um, if the quality of your career or the level of your career or your um, years of experience um, starts to change. It's across the board. And I work with actors around the world and so I can say it's also not linked to culture specifically because it's everywhere, in every nationality, every area around the globe, actors feel doubt. And when doubt is there, you may feel that it's painful to act, that it's not that much fun to act. You may be getting really excited at the idea of working with a new agent and getting new auditions, and you may be craving for better work or bigger roles, but then you get an audition and you start studying and you start to feel the stress creep in and the tension and the pressure in your throat and you're sweating and you don't know which choice to make and it starts to spin out of control and then maybe you don't even sleep anymore and then when you tape your audition you feel all choked up and therefore when you watch the tapes you're like I don't I don't know which take to choose because I don't feel authentic in any of them so doubt is really coming in at the beginning of the process from when you get an audition or meet an agent all the way to preparation to making a choice to filming it to deciding which take to networking like the 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 entire journey can be filled with doubt and so the first thing i would like for us to discuss is why is that actually happening why is it that as an actor no matter if you're being successful or not, starting or being on, on the high road, why do you feel so much doubt? And the way I would like to approach this um, question is to rewind a little bit and look at what happened to you in the past when you were very little and you came to this world, how were you welcomed? You were probably crying and you were given a pacifier or you were shushed, shh. You know how people hold babies and just go shh because the baby's crying. So you were told to not emote your primal feeling. 
you then started maybe to get scared and you were told to not get scared. And then you started to get angry and you were definitely told to never get angry because that's not okay. Um, and maybe sometimes you got really overexcited and super joyful about something and you were told to turn it down. So your entire childhood and then at school too, you were told to sit down and be quiet and don't move and don't walk and don't talk. Eat when you're told, pee when you're told, drink when you're told, learn what you're told, think like you're told. Like basically, you have been programmed, indoctrinated, um, conditioned, wired in order to behave a way that doesn't respect your authenticity. In order to behave, be, do what others tell you to do in order to submit to an authority. So I'm not here to say they were the bad guys, your parents were terrible and the school teachers were terrible. It's all their fault. I'm not here to blame. I'm just talking about what the human experience is like. You come in as a little baby, you're all open, yummy and pure, and then you're being asked to repress everything that comes out of you. And so your parents and your caregivers and your teachers are just passing on what was passed on to them and really do do the best they can and the best they think and feel. And yet, if you fast forward to the moment where you're in now, you understand why as an artist, I would even say as any human being, but especially as an artist, how can you possibly not feel doubt if you've been asked to repress everything you felt, everything you thought, everything you did, every movement, every emotion, every behavior, everything you were craving to learn and explore. How can you not feel doubt is really the question because you've been asked to repress and to doubt everything that was genuine in you. You have to not cry, don't cry, you're fine, be happy. Don't be scared, you're safe. Don't get angry, you should be respectful. So you're always hearing that whatever it is that you're feeling and doing is not right. There's another thing that's good and that's what you should do. So as an artist, where your job, no matter the discipline, is really to get in touch with your essence, your nectar, your DNA, and bring that to the table so that you can uniquely express, paint, sing, dance, whatever the art form. Um, it, yeah, again, in a very unique way, what you're about to express. Well, how could you possibly have access to your nectar and your essence when you've been asked to repress it, pacify it in your mouth from the first day you were born until now? No wonder there's a part of you, natural, innate, that hears your truth and your instinct and goes, oh, this is what it's calling me to express. And then another part of you that's going, no, 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 that's not right, that's not good. You have been raised to do things right and to be good. And actually, there is no right, no wrong, no good, no bad. There's just human and different perspectives. And as an artist, your job and your responsibility, especially as an actor, is to remind us of what it's like to have a human experience. Yes, someone might kill. And the job, if you're defending that character, is to understand where they're coming from and why they're doing it, right? So, and yes, someone might be killed. And your job is to understand what happened to them and how did they happen to be in that moment caught in that so really what's happening when you undo the conditioning deprogram yourself unwire unlearn everything every single thing that you've been told was good and right when you undo that and wake up your instinctive innate natural pure authentic truthful free self you are now in your worth your worth has nothing to do with you being good or doing things right 
Your worth is just because you are. You exist. You have value just because you are. Your being is worthy. And there's no other being that's more worthy or less worthy. It, it just is. It's just you are. And you exist. And from that place of pure, utter freedom and truth and humanity, when you act, you're not concerned with the doubt of, are they going to like it? Is it right for them? Do I look good to them? Do they like how my body looks, how my face looks, how my emotion sounds? None of that is present anymore. Because you, the worthiness of your being, again, not in comparison to someone else that wouldn't be worthy, but just because you exist and you are and you're human and you're alive, the energy of that life, the worth of that life is there. And when you have that level of presence, you're not trying to find the right way to do a scene. You're not trying, your head is not there's no voice in the back saying, what can I do so that they think I'm good and so that they book me? Because none of that matters to you. You just are fulfilled by the life that you are. You make the choice that makes sense to you, that is meaningful to you. Your feelings are free and so they move in a way that they move. And that's it. And when you're like that, of course you're fully alive. And what happens on the casting director side is that they see you, they feel you, they taste you, they get an experience of you because you are actually there. When you're in doubt, you're not present. You're trying to figure out what's right for them and what would look good to the casting director. You're not being you having an impulse and a feeling that goes through you and moves through you and voices through you. You're not doing that. You're in a delusional place where you're trying to figure out what's right and good for them. You're trying to be in the future moment that doesn't exist. You're not present. They cannot see you when you're not present. They can only see your loopy delusional energy trying to find some fake safety somewhere and that's not you and they know it so again what happens when you're standing in that worth and not ever giving a percent of your energy to doubting that worth your energy is busy in this present moment defending this character that you're choosing to embody. None of that energy is busy spiraling around trying to find the right or the good way to do it. You're actually present being this person, this man or this woman going through their circumstance and their challenge. Therefore, your energy is doing its job as an actor, which is to be that life, to defend your character's needs not your ego's needs, not your worth's needs. Your worth is a done deal. You exist. So by definition, you are. There is innate worth there. Again, unanimously, everyone, not one more than another. So I hope this makes sense. And if it does, and if you're interested to work through that doubt, undo that conditioning, undo that programming that makes you think there's a right way to do things, a good way to do a scene, so that you can finally get in touch with that separation with yourself, that disconnection with yourself, so that you can finally land in your truth and really breathe into that and really start waking that up and letting that take over letting your truth really be reborn and grow inside of you so that you can be your true, authentic, free, pure, worthy self, then let us know. You can type free 100 in the comments and we'll send you some 
free trainings. We'll send you some information so that you can already start on that path. All right. Thank you, guys. It was nice to connect with you. Happy Monday. Bye.